Drive on lug nuts. And then he said, girl, you're going to have someone's abortion. <laughs> but that's uh, Tracy Morgan. So. Oh, that's uh, Tracy Morgan. Uh, I'll tell you what, so was. That's starting the show. Absolutely. Welcome, Motorheads. This is Lugnuts. We have Elon for 25000 Honda's new electric. The all-new Toyota Hilux. AMG has a night package. And Mercedes has a neato roof box. It's neato. Neato. Stevo. Sure. BMW's i4 electric. The M3, the M4. Volkswagen breaks more records. I don't know if that's a good thing. Maybe. Might be. We'll see. And we're going to go over all the compact coupes you could ever want. Stay tuned. Drive on blood nuts. Drive on yes. blood nuts indeed. And we want you to drive on over here to pjandwh.com where you're going to find everything luggy and nutty as well as all things pajangers. And uh, we have all the funniest moments of Let's Play With Your Pajangers as well as Triforce Podcast right up there at the top. Yesterday, we did uh, Let's Play With Your Pajangers, Marvel's Avengers. Mm -hmm. Episode 4, we found Tony. It's okay, he just lives in an Airstream. And he doesn't, and he had horrible facial reconstructive surgery, so he doesn't look like the movies. He doesn't look like Tom Cruise or Robert Downey Jr. It should look like like the last one. Yeah. But you will also find. Uh, last Thursday's Triforce podcast, Wed Redding, just for shit. I don't remember this one. No, this one here. That one. Is that. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that. Uh, uh, what's her face? Rosie O'Donnell? No, that's Miss. Tina Burka? No, that's Marvel 616. She was one of the writers for Ms. Marvel's comic. So she's not. No, she's not Rosie O'Donnell. No, no, I'm not thinking of Rosie O'Donnell. Who am I thinking of? I don't know who you're thinking of. I she had a talk show in the 90s. Uh, comedian, gay. She's gay. She does a lot of. Ellen DeGeneres? No, 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 no. The other one. Oh. I don't know. The other one. But you'll also find last week's lug nuts. I, I, I here. wish I knew. I don't. No, I don't. I don't wish. Lando I Ferrari, Swan Magillan, Roseanne. And, uh, oh, Roseanne. Roseanne. Barr. She's a comic. I should know this shit. That, Come on. You should. But she kind of looks like oh. Roseanne. Um, if Roseanne was, you know, younger. I don't know. Let, let no, she looks a little us. like Roseanne. She looks like. Take it as a compliment. Okay. Fair enough. Roseanne's uh, funny as shit, and she's. Got a little. She was hit by a car. Yeah. So, so moving yeah. on, like I said, you'll find everything luggy and nutty here, and you'll also go over right here when my mouse works to contact us. Let us know what is luggy and nutty with you, as well as find us on all social medias: Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. <laughs> and click that button. But one thing we're gonna do to start it off: going over to man, Elon Musk. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Elon Musk had a dream. His dream was to produce an affordable electric car for $25,000. Okay. That's a great dream. But it is. So he never wanted to make an electric car as expensive as he did. Yeah. He just, I guess, wanted to make it. You got to start good. the ball rolling. You got to start it somewhere. Yeah. So it's because of the cost of the battery that drives the price up. So he is working on it. He says he's going. The new co- the company's new goal is a twenty five thousand dollar electric car. That is amazing. Battery prices have dropped in the last ten years eighty seven percent because there's such amazing research going into the technology of what we can do with batteries now. Yeah, especially well, since Elon's fueling the fire. Uh, not to play off the image. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. Kind of looks like a fire behind <laughs> him. Like, but Ooh. high five, Elon. No, no, he left me hanging. Yeah, Elon you go. left me. But hanging. experts predict that the price will hit a hundred dollars a kilowatt hour by twenty twenty three. Okay, so we got that going for us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good Fair enough. enough. Trust Elon a little bit with that. The cooling system is another one of the largest uh, parts. 
the cooling system, it takes, because all those batteries need a lot of cooling, and that drives the price oh, up yeah. as well. you got to keep the batteries cool, so that way they so, operate efficiently and they don't explode. The whole battery pack costs or about that. 10 that. to 12 grand on its own. So it's really expensive. Yeah. He wanted to sell the Model 3 for 35 grand, but it didn't happen. They just couldn't. I want wings like Hawkman, but. Yeah, they couldn't produce it you know. for that. They just couldn't do it. Yeah. Let me I can't you, do it either. Let me tell you who can do it. Honda probably could. Honda can do it! This is Honda's first electric concept. Put it back. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> Not done yet. <laughs> Put it back in the oven. Let the bread rise. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the little girl from Signs? It's contaminated. This debuted at the mm-hmm. 2020 Beijing <laughs> International Auto Motive Exhibition. Yeah. No. Honda's making a big deal over this new electric SUV. It's You're an exhibitionist, all right. This. It to put on a little bit more clothes. Yes. This indicates the direction of a future mass production model. Okay. One that will be abandoned, I hope. Good lord, that's up. No, they're going to... I. It sounds like they're going to pull go through with it. It's going to debut in China. I just don't have. like the front end. That's really what hangs me up. That back end, you see that everywhere. I think it's all right? fine. You see oh, the back end everywhere. The rims are nice. I got no problem with the body lines along with the uh-huh. doors. But it's just the front end is just very... Just too nosy. It looks like it's going to be looking into your personal affairs like a nosy neighbor. Yeah. Well, they, this will be competing with the Aria and the Tesla Model Y. This guy gets it. And, uh, that guy so. gets it. And it kind of sounds like Elon's really pushing to lower the price of his cars so everybody can yeah. get one, which is a brilliant idea. I like it's it. what Honda did. You know, they came out in the market with a reliable car that you can not lick your paws on. Sorry. But a reliable car that you could, it doesn't cost a lot. And you still don't lick your paws in it. In a moment, you'll know why I was smiling on the play black. (laughs) This new SUV gets improved recognition. (laughs) I bet it does because everybody's like, what the fuck was that? Oh, recognition, what? prediction, and decision-making performance okay. with a wider front camera angle and 360-degree mm. radar. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. It knows where everything is. It knows where you are. You're still ugly on the outside. I'm you don't sorry. have to look at that part. You just get on the inside. <laughs> You'll be able to spot it in the parking lot. I mean, I sound like the biggest car bully, but I just don't like. <laughs> I, I don't like, it. like your face. It doesn't look like other SUVs for now. It's sleek. They're not going to make it that sleek. They're not going to. They'll it, they'll uh, focus group it down. If it were a person, I'd say it had a punchable face. Okay. What about uh, the Toyota Hilux? What do you feel about that? We nice will find fights. out in the next story. This wow. is the new face ugh, of the Toyota Hilux. Let's go to the... Yes, let's look at the pictures. Uh, there were rumors of a Hilux since early 2018, but these rumors are now. It is expected to arrive 2023 with a 3.3 liter V6 engine that's in the Land Cruiser. That will produce two produce two hundred and sixty eight horsepower, seven hundred and four hundred and seventy not not seven hundred. That's not it. No, no. Four hundred and seventy nine foot pounds of torque. What do you think? Let's go through some of those photos. Uh, I'm hung up on this one. It's competition. Mean, it's competition uh, will be the Ford Ranger. Uh, like I don't like the. This right here, all right. The Toyota. I I don't like that. Everything else is fine. That's what about fine. The, 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 That's there, fine. There's more photos. There should That's be more fine. photos. Where's the more photos? We have the here side go. here, which that's fine. I really I don't like that two inch bed. Look at that that damn thing. Yeah. Look at that thing. Yeah. That's not a truck. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. 
But, I mean, from that side view alone, <sighs> the short bed, the ugly Toyota on the front. I don't even care that you have the the hood and the roof mismatching. You're going for a weird two-tone, three-tone, whatever. No, it's just... It's, it's like, like they took a Toyota truck that, that was SUV in you concept thought mode. was ugly. This is what it's going to look like. They took a Toyota it's truck that was in concept like mode, and then they took it to Need for Speed Two, and then they just customized it, and then they put it out there. Well, it will be competing with the Ford Ranger Raptor, which uses the same engine as the Ford F one fifty. The Raptor Neither. looks better. I know I don't often compliment Fords, but the Raptor looks a <laughs> fuck ton better, and they wear their name better. Because I do believe the Raptor has a Ford, like, right on the front of yeah. it. Yeah. But it's not white. The Raptor like, will be ugh, running a 3-liter V6 engine with 255 horsepower and 443 yeah. foot-pounds of torque. I'm sure it's very powerful. So I just, I'm not so the kind of wants to just one up them because their engine is just a little better. Well, that's right on the line. Because the looks department, it goes... Beep. Well, now, that's right on the lines of something for Toyota, though. They did what's, we're just going to be a little bit better. That's why nobody wanted to let them in a NASCAR, because they went over to everybody else's engines, and they took the best parts, and they're like, all right, we have a push rod engine, too. And then they had to let them in. And they, and it, you know, they got everybody's intel and made a good engine. Okay. What about the uh, new AMG Night Package? Mm, right here? Sure. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. Boom. Bam! The all new AMG Night Package. Ooh, looks like a super villain's car. Yes, dark chrome radiator grill, black accent headlamps, black brake calipers, black wheels. Yeah. Oddly enough. No way. 19 and 20 inches, but don't wait there. Carbon fiber roof. I'm not buying it unless they have hot pink wheels. Dark details. Yeah. No the paint, hot pink wheels, no deal. The paint is offered in four colors. Black, gray, black, and gray. Damn. No hot pink. All right. Yeah. Well, unless you give it that car with hot pink wheels, I'm out. It will produce 523 horsepower, clocking a 0 to 60. Well, that in the price. In 3.7 seconds. Wow. That's not bad. Not bad at all. That'll get you to the grocery store, and you can get one bag of groceries. That's it. Look, get final paper. offer. If you give me one, I'll drive it around, and then we'll see how it goes. You know, we'll give it a good review. Can't park it here. No. 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 But no, no. if you get no. this next story on the top, no one will probably touch it. I mean, it's stylish. It's what they call neato. See? Oh, it says neato. Uh, it's their neato roof box. Don't you like it? I think it'll prevent people from stealing them. Like, wow, that's a great looking... Holy shit, what's that on the roof? To quote ultimate wall janger, Moisil Robinson, so white people. AMG realizes that... Their cars, they don't really have storage. There's no, no storage Not whatsoever because they put engines and all the... What do you need to store something for? You're driving. Yeah, I I like that about the Germans. You're driving, <laughs> just fucking drive. You don't, don't stop holders. before you, you drive. Just you pay turn. attention to the road and you drive. That's what you do. Yes. It's very German. and yeah, It I is mean, made of sturdy, weather-resistant... Plastic, not carbon fiber. Plastic. Well, I mean, it's not that... Plastic. Look, plastic can be strong. It's designed to re reduce drag. Yeah. And, and it angles. is designed okay. to be on the car at 80 miles an hour in most countries. Yeah. In many countries. Unless you go to Australia, then it's like 40 pounds and you can't control the vehicle otherwise just because it's australia that country alone is very specific 40 pounds no it weighs 57 off. pounds oh right it reduces drag it's got a thin 14.4 cubic meters of storage space Not maximum bad. payload of 145 pounds i mean honestly it's a really good buy especially if 
you buy this Mercedes that you love, and you really just need somewhere to store your shit while you're, if you're going on like a longer trip, you know? You're going over to your, an aunt's house a couple states away. You just need to store all your luggage up there because you can't in the trunk. It's it a would, nice wouldn't option. Be bad, it wouldn't be bad if I could remove it. Yeah. Well, that's what that's for. Just, that's just, just the roof rails, and the roof rails latch on top of that. So you'll have those roof rails on I top really, there. But I don't really like. I don't even like the roof rails. It's that, that or really? just you know. You know what? Taking multiple cars. If You're in the back you just seat. Take Here, you hold the bag, and you hold the other bags, and then the other bag we'll put here. And we're thinking a lot of people. Are you an airline? Sure, why not? Look, one bag per person. <laughs> it can only be twenty pounds. All right, <laughs> pack all your shit in there. We're going I to China. Wait. Stay in there for a month. Pack all your shit in the twenty pound bag. That's it, and you gotta hold it the whole time. Like, damn, TSA, calm down. I mean, I still think that is. You're supposed to put it in a separate <laughs> bin. There are no <laughs> bins. <laughs> I still. Do, Why didn't you put story. in a bit? There no. There's no. There, there's none of them. Where am I getting them? Yeah. I don't know. Put them in the fucking bin. You were oh, supposed okay. to bring now your I'm own just bin. Pull it from my ass. Yeah. Everybody brings their own bin. But, but do they bring their own bin if they have a brand new Mercedes? At Jeep? the end of the story, Man. I do have to say it is neato. Yes, it is a neato. It's a neato little box. It's What's neato. In the box. Damn but it. I missed the story. No, don't do it yet. Okay, no, no, I did. I, I clicked the same story. Sorry. There you go. The all new Mercedes G wagon. We have a lit stay on that photo, and we're gonna play a little game. Okay. It's I, called Guess the Options. Okay. Here. Okay, we're gonna guess the options. I don't have a buzzer. Oh, but the the it's you and Link, and he doesn't know. But. The all new AMG G Wagon starts at one hundred and fifty seven thousand four hundred and forty five dollars with a nine hundred and ninety five dollar destination fee. What is overpriced, Alex? Yes, the, the add ons are twenty five thousand dollars. I don't even think I bought my car for that much. You're going down, puppy. So that juniper red paint. How much would you pay? For the paint, at least five or six thousand dollars more than a regular paint option that they would pay. Six thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah. They have black. Is there more pictures left oh. and right? You told me to stay on that one. I was These like, all right, don't we're go down, Otherwise, oh, you, right. you ruin the, the quiz game. Yeah. The black leather contrast stitching. How much would you think they car charge for that one? Uh, with the stitching, I'd say at least like three or four grand more. It's free. Wow, the free. the value there. There you go, carbon fiber trim. Mm -hmm. It's gonna cost you your uh, you know, your firstborn though. Carbon fiber trim. How much do you think that costs? First firstborn. No. Oh. Three thousand seven hundred. The natural grain black. I'm putting the bottle down. Thank you. The natural grain black flamed ash wood is one thousand three hundred. Mm -hmm. So, like and the carbon weave is the same as the carbon fiber because it's just carbon fiber. Silver painted brake calipers. I like the rims. How much do you think them calipers are? Painted silver. At least uh, three or four grain. Free. That's free. Added value again? Yes. Carbon fiber engine cover. We'll probably have a picture of that one soon. There it is. Hmm. I like this one. Is that one free or do you have to give your... No, you know, it's $1,500. <laughs> Got to give a wisdom tooth. Heated steering wheel is 250 bucks. I think that's kind of reasonable. Mm, In no yeah. way, shape, or form. 250 bucks for a heated steering wheel. Yeah, absolutely. Seems Although, expensive. if you have soft hands, but it's not an option for you. Just how about, how about a performance steering wheel? Yeah, that, that one there, a performance steering wheel. I love that interior, though. 
I know, yeah, it's a G wagon. It's like especially with G, you know, G-O. with the steering Whatever wheel and everything else there. It's it's very it's you know, awesome. It looks jack. like you're it's, in the it's f- nice. future. Yeah, it's got like switches and it's got like buttons. You could the lights. It's everything the future told me. Imagine like Eobard Thawne or one of the other people from the 31st century popping out of time and be like, get in, bitch, we're causing mayhem. The steering wheel is $900. The the leather grab handles are $550. Other options include top speed of 149, not 37. Okay. Is $2,200. It's clearly not. The 22 inch wheel. rims, cross spoke wheels, $4,400. Night package is almost two grand. There's belt. So and look at the stitching on those oh shit bars, man. Goddamn. Yes. That is Napa quality. leather. Quality. For the interior package is 3100 yeah. So the when way, you grab on to this oh shit bar like so, uh, right like that, you're like, oh shit! And Badged headrests and floor Napa mats. Napa leather. Ooh, head. Ooh, it Multicolor so front seat with yeah. massage. It feels real soft. Yeah, it's soft. Real see? Soft. Yeah. yeah. You just rub your hands. That's, that's nice. It's nice. Okay. It's real nice. You look odd. Yeah. Gosh. Hey, there's the speedometer. <laughs> Zero to 180. They got but only if you paid on. extra. They got their parking brake on. Yes. Yes. They don't want off. it to go anywhere. That's an that's interesting. That's part of the exterior package. That's in an case interesting you package. Mow down poor people because they're in your way or... I don't have money. I don't know how it works. So, out of the way, Tiny Tim. I got a meeting to get to. But out of the past, into the future, we have to look at the new BMW. Ooh. BMW's i4 is our first electric-powered car. Okay. So that's what they got going. Nice electric. What? Well, it's about time they got in there. I hope they offer it. They in have a been waiting. Paint the I- package. Yes, the i four has a three hundred ninety kilowatt motor, zero to sixty in four seconds. That's uh, up with the what was it? The uh, the last story. The yeah. G wagon. Yeah. So nice. you can almost beat a G wagon in a race. Nice and powerful, but that's electric for you. Boogie yes. woogie woogie. Top speed of 124 miles an hour, 80 kilowatt battery, give a capacity of about 373 miles on a single charge. There you go. They were concerned over the battery weight and putting an M badge on it. Mm -hmm. So this is the first M car that's electric, and that's very big for them. That is. Finally get the battery enough that they could... Meet the M performance numbers, and they're German. If it's not, if it don't fit the equation, you I'm don't still go. worried about battery deterioration and how long these batteries will last, and how mm. much it will cost to replace them. That is my ultimate thing. You have to read. I don't you look at Elon long. saying if he's making this car at twenty five thousand mm. for an electric car, right? Mm-hmm. He is going to have a realistically affordable option to change that out, you know? And he could be doing something else. Yeah. You, you don't know what that guy's got rolling No, the batteries still make He's got like, like a more a efficient battery too. rolling around up here. He just doesn't have the time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the batteries still may cost like a grand or oh, yeah, 1200 but it's still like an affordable option if you want to keep the car. For 12 grand. That now. is really what I see hanging up the electric market until I can see some kind of like like no, they expensive. last. The price will go down, but you know only yeah. because we have no other option. Because I've seen way like when the Prius came out, I've seen way too many of those Priuses in the first gen just have to come back in. I still to this day because of that ooh. first gen, I hate them all. I'm sorry, I hate you. Th- I hate them. I despise them. Yeah. I swear at you when you're on the road. I'm sorry, I can't help it. It's like Tourette's. I get Tourette's. I get Tourette's. 
by the Prius. That's it. I Prius can't help it. Tourette's. It is. I just start swearing at it. I don't. I don't. I don't know what it is. It's at least part of a. Title. I think I caught All it from right. Hammond. All right. There you go. I mean, Hammond had that car. He hated. He couldn't get. I think I caught it from him. Maybe you won't hate the next story. The all new M3 and M4. Improved engine cooling is what they'll get with the all new M3 and M4. Both BMW engines will use a 3 liter twin turbo straight six. They will produce 700 and. Not 700. That would be ridiculous. The car, <laughs> the car is green. So, yeah. No, it go. is green. It is see. green. 473 horsepower in regular mode and 503 horsepower for the high performance kit package. Not bad. The M3 will start at 69.9 and will go upwards of 72. Okay. The M4 starts at 74.7, and that's where it goes. See photos below. Hmm. Very nice. I like the yellow. I like the gold. This is very it's nice kind of color mustard, that they really. have up there. Mustard esque. I don't know. I'm not the right person to ask. It's it's not. I'd say panoramic. It's, it's a nice summer? yellow. That's nice. I don't know. It's nice. I guess. Nice, nice back, back end. end. Nice yeah. twin uh, exhaust. Yeah. And then that front end. I mean, who could say that? You know no what? The that? front end, that front end is a really nice looking front end. I'd yeah. love one of those. Oh, yeah. But that front end, that's like. Whew. It's still a little that's buck tooth. That's a sexy tooth. beast. You know what color it's a little buck tooth with the grill. You know what? It is a little, but it, I kind of like that about it. I'd almost want the British license like, plate in front. No, it's kind of like snarling at you. Grr, I'm a man. Yeah, that's why, I, that's why I want the muzzle. That's why I C want that muzzle. M badge. Yeah, I want or that muzzle. Only if right it's there. an actual M car. Yeah. <clears throat> a little weird on the side, uh, side picture here, though. It's... A little bit um, longer than I imagined. I mean, I just kind of imagine M3. these cars a little bit smaller, a little That's bit more M2. compact. That's yeah. the M2. All right, fair enough. They use, they're like M2, M3, M4, M5. M16 is a bitch to get around the corners. M16. <laughs> it's very long. It is for troop transport on straight American roads. Very destructive in terms. Not that we need it. Americans need to transport troops, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. We will conquer the world with capitalism. I like that interior. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, Five-point racing harness, it looks like. Yeah. And You're going to stay in place. Oh, yeah. Those bucket seats will keep you really hugged. I like it in life. And the way that the Germans make their cars with the laser-welded... Rocker panel. Uh, I'd like it in like it blue or uh, the whole car uh, green. Hugs the turns, man. These yeah. German cars are just amazing. Oh, they're fantastic. I'd like to see it in blue or green. <coughs> it's almost like green the country anymore. of origin is, I don't know, very mountainous. They don't. Well, there's. They don't really have. They don't believe in a speed limit all the time. Like it is a rumor that either. there's no speed limit on the Nurbo Green on the uh, Autobahn Parts everywhere. Yeah. There is. It just kind of like fluctuates. Like so, like if it's like tra tra heavy traffic, the yeah. speed's like fifty-five. Yeah. Whatever that is in English or French. So they just move it kilometers per hour. But if you're in the middle of the night, yeah. you probably go. Really fast, but Volkswagen is breaking records again over at the Nurbo Ring. Uh huh. And next week, I think, or two weeks, Formula One will be at the Nurbo Ring next. But Ooh. Volkswagen was there with their electric car, the R I D R electric race car. It broke the Nervo Ring's time and smashed the records at Pike's Peak. They had to hire a poet for this legendary occasion. Yes. The ID on the time electric race car was 124.206. We hmm. And it smashed the time of the last one. So 
this is coming to you in the future if you're going to buy a Volkswagen. It looks insanely fast. Oh, yeah. It looks, like, just ripping they around won't, these turns. They won't, you know what they I mean? Would nev- it, like, if they were going to sell that, they're not going to sell it as a Volkswagen. You they know, sell it as an Audi. As bugs in this car, i got to say, this guy is really fast. Luckily, we can see he's paying attention. But, yeah. my God. Yeah. Uh, luckily, he is. Because but we have our back if they were to sell this, it, they never have the Volkswagen logo on it. Oh, God. Don't look at the road. Oh God, he's gone really fast. They'd probably pull like a Honda thing and do yeah. an Acura, so their Acura version. This thing just looks really fucking quick, man. It's an amazing. It looks like an amazing car. So, off of this wonderful news in California, uh, California, 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 California. So, California. Yeah, this is it. Oh. So, I was hoping I was wrong. So, uh, there's new rules. California made a huge decision last week. Beginning 2035, the sale of all combustion engines will be banned. Ooh. They so got time. Ford only has they two. So, two. they have the F-150 and the Mustang. So, you're going to have to go to, like, I don't know, another state to get that? and if well, they, they would allow you, it would still allow you? the right car now, would still have to be registered. Th- th- so that's the hang up there. If you can register that pet- petrol engine, car all in say the state. it just says sales of combustion engine vehicles will be banned. Sales, okay. Sales. So that's so, so if you if buy you it out of state, yeah. Buy it out of state. You go to. You'll have to if you want an engine. You'll have to. Go you, to yeah, you're gonna have Colorado. to if you want that. Wow! So every Pennsylvania, man. come to Pennsylvania, buy your V8 engines. We may be coming to a point where, to where we're just only talking about. Electric I'm thinking cars. if you're you really want, if you've always dreamed of having something with like a Mustang with a big V8, get it now. Yeah, buy it as with it before 2035. Uh-huh. Buy it. You have a. You've yeah. got what is it? A few years. Look, if you got a bundle of money you and you're sitting on it and you're just like, damn, what kind of hobby do I want? This, right now. Buy rare buy petrol engines if you're in California. Make a museum. You won't be able to, and no, they won't be, well, they won't be able to sell them. I don't think it's going to be worth that much. Museum. If you've always wanted one, people are going to want to see it in the future. To strike, That's what I'm saying. You play for the, the long time. Uh, this, this fire is going out and they're going to ban them. I think at some point when. Uh, they're mostly electric and like the environment. So there's this new, really great documentary. Being this is a car show. I Robot. No, Kiss the Ground. With uh, oh, that's not a name? that's not a documentary. I Robot. No. 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 So they have this documentary, Kiss the Ground. Yes, you were about to play. That. Yeah. It's the farmer's fault. And it's not the car's fault. It's not me. Watch the documentary. Okay. Kiss it's a great car. documentary. It's fantastic. Like, save. I was excited. I'm Hashtag excited save now. the petrol engine. Yeah, save the petrol engine. Thank you. Thank you. GM issued a stop sale. Uh oh. This is good. They're stopping to selling cars because they're not going to stop brake failure. The Chevy Corvette, eventually Buick Encore G. Eventually, you do stop. Yeah, when you hit something. The Cadillac CT4, CT5, XT4. So they kind of fucked up. The recall number is get a pen. That's a weird recall number. No. no oh, that was, that was an if instruction. You have, okay, that was. If an you have a like GM a vehicle, yeah. Yeah. that is a. Okay. Uh, Corvette, Trailblazer, I've heard a lot of Buick recall Encore. numbers, and that does not sound like one of them. So if you have a Chevy Corvette, Trailblazer, Buick <laughs> Encore, Cadillac CT4, CT5, XT4, you're going to want to get a pen. The recall number is A2023073. So enjoy. Okay. And don't drive your car, apparently. Now, I'd get a toad. I mean, if it stops, it's just going to keep stopping. I mean, odds are they've upselled you on brake work anyway. Like, they've you never. Been there. 
<laughs> I never know. Come on. I hear stories. So we go on to the next. This story. is the all new Lamborghini Urus with a cool graphic. They also offer a lot of colors, only in matte finish, allowing you to choose. They have fancy names, but white, black, gray, and gray. Hmm. That's what they come in. They have neon options as well down there. Or they look for pictures. That's probably why I picked this story. There you go. There's photos. I love photos. I love photos of cars. When we're talking about the car, you can look at it. So it comes in different neon colors, orange, yellow, green, that's it. Interesting interior. Very neon and... Yeah, you can get that in uh, orange, but they call it red uh, or yellow or green. It's a weird way to call it orange. Yeah. There's orange and a red and an orange. Oh, another you, orange. you can have it in. So there's those no, there's colors. two oranges, but one is like red, is what they say. So but they like call it orange. orange. I don't know what the the hell they're going on over there. Yeah, sunburst orange is more on the red. Again, side. it's kind of like a cockpit. Yeah. So, uh, uh, what's Mazda doing? Does anybody really? We're not know? wearing the same shirt, are we? No, no. we're not. Does anybody really know what Mazda is doing? Mazda. The C. This is the CX30 Turbo with 250 horsepower. This will have a turbocharged 2.5 liter Sky Active G four-cylinder engine. It drops a whole enormous 250 pow horsepower. That thing in my car. That is but a very only, weird thing. Yeah, it will produce 250 horsepower and 300 foot-pounds of torque, but only if you put 93 octane in it. It kind of looks like Drax, like an expression he would have on Let his face. Let me see face. the side. That's just a weird, very angry it's, it's, expression uh, in front of it. I think it's the, sh the light and where it is. Looks like an SUV. What do you want me to say? The lower gauge gasoline, 87, you're only going to get 227 horsepower. So if you want all the horsepower from your car, go up on the uh, gas. Mm. Get something nice. Treat your car. New driver assist features include City Smart brake support reverse with cross traffic braking detect. Behind the SUV, that's where you detect braking is behind the SUV. As opposed to in front? Yes. This one detects braking behind when you're going backwards between two and four miles an hour. That's it. Yeah, you, if you're going backwards, you're not in Fast and the Furious. You don't need to be going that much faster. I want, to, I want it to work if I go 25 miles an hour backwards. Calm down, Vin Diesel. I want it to work. If I can go 100 miles backwards, I want it to work then. But that's Your car me. can't go that fast backwards. It's against the principle of the reverse gear. Whatever. That's why the it traffic, wants. They also have a traffic jam assist, which offers automatic steering at up to 40 miles an hour with 360-degree monitor view. Mm -hmm. Very popular new feature. Starts around 30000 If you're okay. looking for a... Four-cylinder SUV looks like the rest, but it has Mazda, so I don't know. Four-cylinder doesn't sound like big enough for... for I tell you uh, something that really oh. has promise to be something that's big, you didn't which like is this next story, which Acura wants Deuce. Type S everything. Type S everything. Yeah. Type S, if you don't know, is are they, Acura's... Are they, let me guess. Are they trying to make it the M badge? No. Well, it's the elevated performance level mm -hmm. of the brand. And They're here we see the TLX Type S. And it's very ILX impressive. Type S. Yeah. And so you have your ILX. Mm -hmm. That's the small sedan. Okay. Yeah. Mom's Type you, S. You get a Type S of that. 
uh, RDX and MDX, they already have some Type S's, so mm -hmm. with the Type S, they're going to be, in, you know, adding in that more performance-themed feature. And then that also opens the door. If they want to Type S everything, that also means they want to Type S the NSX. So if they Type S the NSX, that means a more beefier, more performance-driven NSX. Would it be confusing when it's the NSXX? S? NSX Type S. NXSS. -S. What do you got? I got the NXSS. -S. Well, no, that's why you Ooh, say that Sorry, that's type horrible. S. Did they give you penicillin for it's that? It's like the one person, I, I, I said, oh, what kind of Acura do you drive? And they say, oh, I drive the Acura Shod. No, that's SH all-wheel drive. That's super handling all-wheel drive. You drive a sedan? Yes, that's the TL. So you have to know no, no, no. It's, it's the, the NSX shard. Type S, the ILX Type S. And that's their new brand that they're going with. Then they want to go with everything Type S. I like the name. The Acura the Red. new Acura Shod. <laughs> the Acura Shod. It sounds like something you could drape over your neck. Oh, great. It comes. With a shard. Grab my Acura shard <laughs> off the bureau. Uh, you know, and I, I feel like I love the Acura Red. The, the, especially that NSX triple, co uh, you know, triple mm -hmm. layer paint red color is amazing. It's just mesmerizing. Just yeah. the same thing with the blue. They have really good paint. And I, I really remember love they used the to only come in like. Car. Puke green or like whatever the fuck color that was. Oh no, they had the forest green way back in the day, but now it's mainly you know your reds, your blues, you have mm -hmm. your silvers. Your I am granites. seeing a lot of different color accuracies, which is new. Well, that's this is a new thing. The colors normally like the last three stories, it comes in black, 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 black. Oh no, they've they've always had black. oh and they red. Have, there's red or like a uh, hmm. more like a maroon kind of red. They've always had their set amount of colors. It's yeah, not like yeah, yeah. Mitsubishi where they have like every flavor of Skittles color. But like a lot of other manufacturers, they do have a limited amount of colors. Mm -hmm. But it's because they get it right. Okay. Just like that red. Let's look at a Volvo fire truck. Volvo fire truck. This. Why? What? The, you don't like that paint? It's no, Volvo. this is as big as I can get the. That's it. Yeah. Picture. Oh, I thought you didn't like the paint. This no, is the all new Volvo fire truck. No, the paint looks like they got the skin off of Call of Duty. Yeah, that must be. Bright. It's an all new electric truck. It is the first. That electric looks fire like something truck. out of Cyberpunk 2020. It is made by Rosenbauer. Bowers Revolutionary Technology or RT trucks have been developed for three years. Wow, that's they, they've worked a whole three years on it. That okay. doesn't sound like a lot to me. Okay, maybe it's fun. It's the first hybrid fire truck, so that means it has two electric motors that can provide 360 kilowatt. Energies of four, which is equal to 490 horsepower, equipped yeah. with one or two high voltage batteries with a 50 kilowatt capacity. Six cylinder diesel engine is also available with it for power and a power generator. The diesel engine produces about 272 horsepower. Interesting looking. I mean, I definitely need, like the look of so the fire can, truck. I'm fine with it. It can power stuff like fans, submersible pumps. Mm -hmm. They need all sorts of crazy crap around the world to put out fire. Yeah. So, and it's supposed to be fantastic. 15 minutes to charge, 50 to 80%. So, if you're in an area like California where there's a lot of fire, and you're yeah. like, we need to charge it now. There's fire. Everywhere, it only takes fifteen minutes. So you well, by twenty thirty five, they better have that situation fucking so. handled because no, petrol engines worse. are going to be outlawed. Yeah. Well, let's hope they do. So let's hope California, you do that before your fires take you over now your can state. Have California, you may now have an electric Volvo fire truck. This That'd be crazy first. if, like, ten years in the future, and it looks so stylish. Like, look at that you know, paint. I can't 
believe people actually used to live in California. Oh, and that state is always on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I th- I like the look of the fire truck. It needs it needs to shoot fire. and like hoses. Live up to your stuff, name. But quit being a pussy. Quit putting the fires out and start them. You're a fire truck, damn it. No, it's a water no. truck. Oh, that's, that's what water pumps for. Right. But what if you're looking for a compact coupe? I'd what do you say do? we're going to start here. Didn't so we I looked week? at the list and I thought something was missing. So I added one because I liked it. I thought we did this last week with the no, uh, no regular coupes. The next one down. Oh, compact coupes. That was said oh. compact coupes. Well, this is a completely this different week, story. We will be going over yeah. the 2020 Audi A5. Ooh. You can scroll down if you can. The Mercedes Benz C Class. There's nice. several nice. listed there. Nice. We're only gonna go over one. Oh. Once you click on that, we'll see the Infiniti Q60 2020, the BMW 4 Series. We were just talking about the new one. The Jaguar F-Type, the Audi S5, the Cadillac. This one's not on there. I added it. Oh. The Cadillac ATS-V. Okay. It's 2019. Apparently it was out. Now I'm going to talk about it. I like Cadillac. I like the name. We'll also have, I kind of put them in a different, you know, because they have the Honda Civic and the Hyundai Veloster. That's yeah. That's all they have. I think this is kind of incomplete. I think we're missing something. Um, they must classify Corolla. them differently. Um, yeah. You're Corolla. Missing Maybe it's classified a bigger ILX. Product. You're missing... Uh, no, no, that was last week. Elantra. TLX, they must classify as a full-size sedan. No, ILX is a sub No, we did that when the... We did that in another section. So when they're listening to this on the playback, you could just go up and that's where we talked about it. Okay. I recommend it. How about the Audi? The Audi! The Audi starts from 42.9. It has 248 horsepower, 24 city, 34 highway. Weighs from 3,600 ish to 3,900. It's not a bad looking car. I like it. No, it's nice. It's good. It's kind of low key, I guess I'd call Audi. I like the coupe. Yeah. The curb. We covered the curb weight. Is very. All new features for 2020 were additional standard features, not listed. Nice trunk. Yeah, nice trunk. It's got some uh, junk you can put. In your trunk. In the trunk. Yeah. Put some junk in, in the trunk. trunk. Like the song says, I assume. There's got to be a song that says something like Sure, why not? It has sh- shuddering between trims. <laughs> Shuffling between trims. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. God. What, what's up with this trim? It keeps shuddering. There's We're a just noise while about I drive. The... Man, that's completely normal. You have shuddering trim. Your trim actually shudders when it senses a car getting too close. Oh, you're here. So oh, there's tired. a car too close to me. Oh, my owner's coming. It's like the walls talking to you. What? Like shuddering trim. Ah, get me out of this car. It's the next horror movie coming out of Quentin Tarantino. Okay. Well, the he do the much, trunk in 2020 was made yeah. slightly smaller in the coupe body style, and you couldn't keep as much junk in your trunk. Yes, and updated exterior styling. Mm-hmm. Pros and cons are as follows: first-rate interior, punchy powertrain, intuitive tech features, comfortable ride, and composed handling. Hmm. Coupes and cabriolet models have small trunks. Not as much junk in the trunk. Yes, I like that look. It's a nice look. It's a nice it looking is. headlight. It's a nice, nice car. Rims. Car and driver gave it a seven point five out of ten. The car connection gave it a six point seven out of ten, and Edmonds gives drive. it five out of five. Looks definitely. F- Fun to drive. Up next is the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, starting at 41.4. 
It has 255 horsepower up to, wow, 503. You are going to get where you're going with this one. And 503s, that's that's probably pretty pricey. And that's, the ticket is long. Uh, yes. Well with that. Yeah. You will get from where you're going. It goes from 3,400 pounds to about 4,000. So, yeah. big boy. Two liter four cylinder engine, three liter V six, four liter V eight. That's how you get five hundred horsepower. You know how Katarina said she had her fan or her only fans to where she's just standing out in her backyard uh, calling birds thick boys. I'm gonna stand out my front yard and call cars driving by thick boys. Only the ones that are thick though. That'll okay. be my fans only. Calling cars thick boys. Uh, new for 2020, they had standard blind spot monitoring. Nice. Ten and a quarter inch infotainment screen. Standard and all. Yeah. I really am, I hope that within like a year or two, we're actually going to get more cars with uh, the blind spot monitoring mm -hmm. standard. Because yeah, oh, that'll be it's great. a handy feature, man, it's to fantastic. know that somebody's right there. And it's you don't not self-driving, but it tweak your head. helps you. Yeah. The Mercedes has a high-class interior, comfortable ride, potent engine, especially in the AMG model. And oh, mm. if you have an AMG that doesn't have storage space, you can get the roof box thing. The Nito the roof Nito box. The Nito roof box. But yeah. here's the thing. Could we look whiter? Can no. we uh, rewind that? <laughs> Neat uh, Nito roof box. No. no. Fat Before that. Farther back. Yeah. Okay. Potent engine? Yeah. Potent engine in AMG models. A potent Real engine. ass kicker. That's just a, a weird word to put in potent. front of an Normally, like you, normally an where you're used to hearing it is when women refer to guys. He's real potent. Well, he's like got perfume, a lot of kids. Cologne, like oh my god, that's some potent, you know, perfume. That I think like for choking. an AMG car, yeah, that's about right. It's so it's just like a choking. That's what they're engine. going for. You they're going. Like you're gonna die. I really want to feel like I'm gonna die every time I sit behind <laughs> the wheel. It's not yeah. a real car unless I feel death. I like the look of it. It has a long list of standard features and options. It's not as agile as many of its rivals, but I love that blue. Yeah. Tight second row hey, but the red. in the coupe and convertible models. And it's a bit high in price. That it's red's not bad. The reviews are in. It gets 8.5 out of 10 from Car and Driver, 7.6 out of 10 from Edmonds, and 8.1 out of 10 from US News and World Report. Nice. That is where we get most of these uh, photos from. And the pros and cons. Some right. of them I can't, as you see, the US, that's where we got it. So. Right there. US News. So some of them they don't actually cover, so I had to go elsewhere. Yeah. This is the Infinity Q60. Yep. Starting at 41.3. Has horsepower of 300 and 400 horsepower models. 20 city, 27 highway. About 4,000 pounds-ish. I mean, if you really care about mm. the weight. You care about the weight... I like power the body. Ratios. Body's really nice. It's a nice, very it's a very nice rims, looking car. You know, very sleek. It for 2020 standard Apple CarPlay and Android, which means they didn't really add much. All the front cool. ends are so aggressive. Yeah. We're cars. We're marketed to men. Klingon cars. Yes. Strong engine, gentle ride. Tassoba car! Competent truck, Im competent <laughs> infotainment controls. Read one line at a time. Yes. Tiny trunk. Teeny, tiny. Klingons don't need a lot of junk in the trunk. Snuff to keep some blood wine. What more do you need? Yeah. A couple live animals. Available at Star Wars uh, once. Star Cramped Wars, rear like seat, that. but let's be honest, you didn't buy it for the rear seat. Your bag doesn't care. No. You should keep a 
your lab chopping it and they're thin. So don't worry about that. Just wear the clothes on your back wherever you go. Yeah. Wear car. all your clothes. Reviews are in car and, and driver. Car and driver give it six point six out of ten. Okay. No. Car and yeah. driver give it six out of ten. Okay. No point six. No point six. No point six. Just a six. Not a six point six. The car connection six point six would have sold me. Car connection gives it six point two out of no. ten, and Edmonds gives it a five point five. Five no, out of five. The point two that piques my interest. Absolutely. I think it's a great looking car. Yeah. Very nice rims. Up next, we have the BMW 4 Series. Here we go. Starts at 44.7. Goes horsepower goes from 248 to 320 horsepower. 23 city, 34 highway. Comes with a 2 liter 4 cylinder engine or a 3 liter 6. I like the uh, the convertible. Convertible's nice. I really like the blue, John. The blue right one? There. It's yeah. nice and blue. That one's nice. It's a nice and, light uh, blue color. Yeah. It's the coupe. I'm a big fan of the coupe. Apple CarPlay and Android are standard for 2020. Not a lot to say about this car. It's a BMW. Active driving yeah. assist suite features are now standard. Rain sensing windshield wipers are now standard. Nice. As That's it should all. be. I mean... The reviews are in 7.5 out of 10 from Car and Driver. Everyone else goes up from there. 7.9 from Edmunds and 8.8 from the Car Buzz. Oh, well, Everyone I, I do want to bring up this point. Whenever you hear a feature that's like sensing, it usually has to do with like an optical camera. All right. Mm -hmm. So that means if you want the feature to work, you got to clean your car. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Not the feature for me. Although no. if I drove a BMW, I might be willing to wash. Yeah, yeah no, you just got to keep your car clean. If you want your CMBS or your, hey. you know, anything like that to happen efficiently, you got you to clean it. Now, we have the 2020 Jaguar F-Type. You got to clean that, too, because it looks so sexy. 61.6 is where it starts. Horsepower goes from 296 oh, okay. to 500. And 75 horsepower. You get 23 city, 30 highway. The weight goes from 3,300 to 3,800 pounds. 2 liter 4 cylinder engine, 3 liter 6, or 5 liter V8. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice looking car. I mean, you know, for a Jack. It's kind of like. Not? The poor man's Aston Martin. Because basically they share the same body, basically, yeah. and they just sort of No, oh, I we'll just yeah. We'll just charge like less. Not not like what we pay, but like So it's not a million each. So you know it's like I'm a saying? British version of uh, an Aston. I don't know, I like it. It's a fantastic looking car right there. It now, in 2020, standard front row parking sensor, Apple CarPlay, and Android. Manual transmission is no longer available. But still a nice looking car. Lively, fuel efficient based engine, optional supercharged engine with growly exhaust noise. Who doesn't uh, need growly I'm exhaust very un noise? I'm unsettled with my life, so I'm going to growl. Uh, oh, not that kind of exhaust. No. no. Okay. Yeah. Responsive, poised handling. Coops have a large trunk. Small seats that are hard to get into for tall travelers. Not my problem. A lot of junk in their trunk. Uh, let's see. The back seats aren't. The ride quality and the seats are firm. Yeah, Cabin no, I don't like that word. Mm -mm. It's gonna be like driving in my car. Damn it! What? Oh, this God. is really a smooth road. Look, it's all flat. 
You drive into my car. It's just that's what Pennsylvania's like, like, people. We got more roads than all of you. Yeah, but my Acura. Any one of you, not all. Of you. My Acura. No, you feel a little bit. We look little like, bit, but not that much. You just. Hmm, you see the play by driving it. Yeah, we look like I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Would we look? Woo! Like, that's would, the promo. <laughs> would we look like morons in an Audi S5? Well, look. If you take two morons and put them in anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Audi S5. This one, they didn't. They didn't have it. So I had to go to Edmunds, and it was they have the same. We sort of will go thing. elsewhere. This is the Audi S5. It has 349 horsepower. It starts oh, 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 oh. at 52.4. It comes with a three-liter V6 engine. Weight varies from 3.8 to to 4,002. I really like that interior. 21 to 30. I like that. The the infotainment screen yeah. is bizarre. Were they playing Michael Jackson? I think they were. Just beat like, it. It wasn't that one. What's new? New premium trim has been added to the lineup. You got that going for you. Wireless charging with signal booster is now available. Part of the second S5 generation introduced in There's 2018. There's a better look at the interior there. Um, I like it. Yeah. Very classy. Very nice. I love the gray. It'd be nice if I could fold the, the yeah. screen folded into the dash. Too many motors. <coughs> Those, when you add motors, they're going to... No, I don't want a motor. I just want to grab it and... Don't give me a motor. It's still a gear. Give me a handle. Like, it's something to fail. And that's what the engineers are thinking. Because when they redesigned the RDX, they were going to have mm. the screen pop up out of the dash. But and mm -hmm. they were like, uh, there's motors that are going to go bad. And that is going to, we're going to have to You have to, to make the whole unit. A so lot of money. Grab it to get that unit out. out. Because you know they're going to bolt it like that. And then they're going to put shit in front of it. And they're like, oh, if it goes bad, well, fuck. That's a job. Well, they have job. to think of a better way. And the Germans will lead us there. Pros and cons are as follows. Acceleration is very strong and smooth. Mm -hmm. All sexy-like. A very sexy steering wheel. Superior and, you know. grip in the turns. Interior is modern, classy, and pack with high-tech features. Comfortable ride with seats for all-day trips. Lots of colors. Mm -hmm. Interior storage is adequate, but not generous, so let's not go crazy. Everybody gives this car five out of five. I don't mind the black. The grays are nice. Um, the the red really stands out. The white is just going to be impossible to keep. <laughs> I'd say that's oh, yeah. the best color right there. Absolutely. So up next we got the Cadillac. Cadillac Attack with the 2019 Cadillac ATS-V. It was a Cadillac attack. <coughs> starts... <laughs> Sorry, Billy Joel. It starts from 67.7 with 464 horsepower. The way it is... Three in the Chevy for a Cadillac attack. Sorry, I'll get off Billy Joel. The weight is 3,803 pounds, 17 city, 25 highway, 8-speed automatic transmission, or good old-fashioned v I'm not going to lie, man. Manual. That's a really good-looking front end. I, like I think that. it's so Transformers, it's awesome. Yeah. I, that really looks good. I'm What's impressed. What's new is the sedan Ooh. version has been discontinued. Oh, wow. And I'm running out of battery, so we gotta talk quick. The the ATS-V carries on unchanged. The first generation was introduced in 2016. Excellent steering and handling capacity. Twin a turbo V6 engine generates abundant power for quick acceleration. It is built to 
be on the track. Yeah. It's seats, nice, man. I seats like it. in the trunk are small. Ride is a bit too punishing because it's built for the track. If anyone says my car is great, it's built for the track. It's 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 gonna be like they tied you to the bumper and they're dragging you along behind <laughs> it, except yeah. less death-like. Yeah, but that's made to. The interior the lacks the polish. Front. Kelly Blue Book, love it at 5 out of 5. Edmonds, 7.4 out of 10. And Car and Driver, 8 out of 10. Nice. Up next, we have Old Reliable 2020 Honda Civic. This one yeah. is from Kelly Blue Book because no one else had it for some reason. Starts from 20,000, 32 city, 42 highway, 158 to 180 horsepower. That's the all new hatchback. It's what they call a basic bitch. Yeah, and it gets you there. It's a nice car, 1.54 or a 2 liter 4. It looks good. <coughs> Compared to like the slant roof version, I, I like yeah. that. The hatchback is new, robust engine options, and I scrolled down too far. Lively handling, good fuel economy, handsome cab material, cumbersome touchscreen. You got all that work. Handsome you. cab material. Yeah, handsome. that's what it says. Handsome. I just I just read the news. I don't write handsome. it. Handsome. 8.5 out of 10 from U.S. News and World Report, even though they couldn't have it on their website. <laughs> Edmonds gives it 8.4. Kelly Blue Book, 4.5 out of 10. Everyone loves a Civic. Okay. I like a Civic. It looks Civic's fine. Nice. It, it looks, looks great. Fine. It looks like a Civic. Affordable I need a car, car, reliable, I Honda. I got a Civic. I got no uh, problem with it. Looks like a great car. What uh, about a Hyundai? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Why Hyundai. Not? It should be the one on the bottom. I make that paycheck too. All right. Uh, the Hyundai yeah. Veloster, starting at 18.8. This is the most affordable car we have here. The 147 horsepower to 201, 28 city, 34 highway. Someone's licking my foot. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move it over here. It's not like we have a separate person in here. It's the mascot it's of the time. Dog. The it's hero the of dog. time, Link, he found a evil virus on creeping onto his toes, so he had to save him by Yeah, it just one it was just his nose like All right, it smells like your foot. You're good. <laughs> That's a nice sunroof. I love that sunroof. A little weird, but I like it. I like it from the interior. I don't care what the fuck it looks like. Yeah. It has. It weighs two thousand eight hundred pounds to two thousand nine hundred. It's probably as fast as shit and great for modding. If you want to mod yeah. something, oh yeah, get the eighteen eight version and just cram whatever the put a V eight in there. Yeah, it comes with one point six four or two liter four. It's just a weird back end. I it's 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 unique. You really stand out. And you know, it's, it's a great. <laughs> I don't know what it's a great thing. I don't know. It's, it is. <sighs> For 2020, manual transmission has been removed from Turbo Ultimate Trim. It's fun to drive, intuitive technology, gorgeous cargo, generous like cargo those. room, generous, like gorgeous cargo room. You're going to be like, look at that cargo room. Oh my god. No, put that extra bag in here. Go ahead. Almost. No. It's interior great. just magically moves to just give you one more bag, and you're like, "Wow, how All right. generous!" Yeah, it's generous. And oh my god, how <laughs> luxurious! This feels great. I like the way they put this one. Well bolstered seats, front seat, limited rear seat space. You're not buying this for the rear seat space. That's an insurance thing. Come they on. gotta find different. Uh, adjectives to describe the car. They're like some, a, oh, here's an well bolstered. Yes. Here's here's one. Some low rent interior materials and pure fuel economy for the class. That's not a good thing. About um, eight is what everyone gave it from yeah. U.S. News and World Report. Some low and rent Edmund. Low rent. What was that? Grow down. Uh, 
Low rent. Damn. Low rent interior materials. Yeah. Interior material. What are you making that of? Cardboard? Ooh. Particle Ooh. board? What Plastic. So that's whatever we'll put, kind of regular plastic you have there. Like, nah, fuck it. Add it in the machine. We'll make it a sideboard or something. Okay. That's just weird. So. Which one would you pick? Mm. Go to your big list of. Go to a. Uh, go to our. The, put put our name behind us. So. I like. I like. Hmm. That Audi S5, I really, I like it. I don't know it's 2019, yeah. but the S5 was looking nice. It's nice. I like um, the A5. That's nice. The BMW 4 Series, though. The BMW was really nice. I really like the BMW. I love the Audi A5 like though. Like convertible. Um, the A5 to the A uh, the S5. I'm really mm-hmm. liking. I like the Jag. Yeah, but I can pass on the. Jack. It's nice just because it's nice to look at. It is nice to look at, but it's if nice I had to, to pick one of them, it, I'm probably, I'm probably going to go with the Audi S5. That's what I was going to pick. Now I have to pick something different. I'll go. I'll go. Um, I'll go with the BMW. I was about to say, that's my second pick. My second pick BMW. is the 4 Series. But, no, the Audi S5 is definitely my pick. And, you know, the 4 Series, those are the two best of the, of the lot, in my opinion. Out of the, hmm, the Honda and the Hyundai. The S- oh, Civic. Rather have the Civic, huh? Yeah. It Not looks nice. Blaster. I know it's reliable. The Veloster should really... Should be on the list of hot hatches. I don't even know why they have it here. I, I don't know. Yeah. Should be a hatchback. It should be a hatchback. Yeah. That's fair enough. And but there's like the Toyota Corolla should be here. They're really yeah. small nowadays. They're looking really good. Every yeah. Corolla I see, I'm like, damn, mother father. You're really getting something. Mother father and the holy soup. It is the that end us. of to the, the end podcast. of the show. We want you to stop up there. PJANDWH.com and you're going to find the funniest moment of this podcast right here. Uh, it may be one of two. Maybe we have two videos up there. It depends how good it was. But you'll also mm. find the full video and the link right up there. Uh, we are coming back to you on Thursday for another mm-hmm. Triforce podcast every Saturday night with Let's Play with your Pajangers. We are your Pajangers. And we're going through Marvel's Avengers. And, uh, you know, man, it doesn't matter if you drive a future Tesla or a uh, Honda Civic. Nothing rolls without bug nuts. We'll see you next week, gang. Bye-bye. Drive on. That kind of looks like a fire <laughs> behind him. Like, but- High five, Elon. No? Honda can do it! This is Honda's first electric concept. Put it back. It knows where everything is. It knows where you are. You're still ugly on the outside. I'm you don't sorry. have to look at that part. You just give on the outside. <laughs> okay, we're going to guess the options. I don't have a buzzer. The, 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 it's you and Link, and he doesn't know. Play on my tangers. That was a good segue. Our Island Kelly. <sighs> ah. oh. That was unsuccessful. Alright. Oh. Okay, so you know, we can just we could just like move this. That would like, that would just, we could just that would just take all the back. James Bond out of it, man. You know, I mean It's a Live Nights podcast. So, let's go live. You know what that means? Outside time! <laughs> outside time! Outside time! <laughs> so, oh, outside time! The ironic part is that he came right back in because it was raining, and that is uh, it's the biggest disappointment of his night. Honestly, it was it was a huge disappointment for Link, but you know, I mean, what are you gonna do?
Bye super game. crazy outside time. It's raining in Pennsylvania. So super crazy outside time was delayed. Yes. Super crazy. Due to rain. Yeah. Rain delay. Super crazy. On that bombshell. What did you think of that podcast, buddy? I know you all. You like all of our podcasts. That doesn't matter. But what does matter is you hitting that button right there, hitting that subscribe button over there. Yep. Hit that like button. Make sure you comment below, right above my head. Well, that's where you're gonna find all of the Lug Nuts podcasts in a playlist, and right above his head, that's where you're gonna find the very best Burjangers and Wallhangers video review. And as we always say, drive on, Lug Nuts. Bye. <laughs>